and get themselves software. Cameras and uh, software based computers. I have no choice, really. <laughs> of course, we do. Yeah. Very strongly because I think it's a feature for him. I think it's what he is. Seems to be his niche. Is heading for uh, probably editing more than anything behind the camera, more in front of it. Um, other way, like all as aspects of it anyway. But I, I see more on the technical side. Probably his editing skills are really good. The way he seems to have a really good eye for detail and for adding effects and you know making things look a whole lot better, which will hopefully do to my face. <laughs> he gets most of himself now. He saves up uh, his, the likes of his computer. It was very expensive. And we give him money for Christmas and birthdays and tell his aunties and stuff to do the same. And he saves it and buys it for himself. If there's something small we can afford it, he'll get it. Oh, aye. Surely. They wouldn't take me. <laughs> Have you took me with them? What do you think? Aye. Aye. Well done. You never know, word it. It's usual. <laughs> I was starting uh, uh, filmmaking when I was about, I think. I think it was like 10 or 11, 2008 that it was, and I just, uh, I just, uh, something that occurred up to me saying, hey Daniel, do you want to do a wee film with me? I was like saying, yeah, yeah, why not, why not? My hope to take from the future with, with, uh, with media filmmaking is that I hope to turn it into a career. Uh, originally, it was just a hobby, you know. Like I just do it in my spare time. Usually, I get used to use it to get away from exams. That's what I usually do it for. Therefore, I would actually consider doing this as a profession. But I really would like to do this as a career and earn a fair wage from it. And it's always been something I'm interested in. It's always something I've wanted to do. I mean, inspirations not people who are like from film, but me, like people from YouTube, like. Like Tomska, like people like them, Freddie Freddy Wong, uh, all those YouTubers, and also a couple of filmmakers like uh, Spielberg and, of course, um, Stanley Kubrick. Uh, they are my major inspirations towards film and media. Yes, I own my own cameras, I own my own mics, I own my own computers and editing software, and. Usually, the uh, that's what gives me has gifts, or I, uh, or I just save up for myself. That's how it goes, really. How and why? Um, I made a website. A couple, I had a website for We Well, yeah, but it was bad. It was really bad. So I thought I'd revamp it this year and make it proper. I made the website as promotion. I. I have a YouTube account, I got Twitter, I got Facebook, but I really want to make my own wee website just so it show, yeah, I am serious about this and I can show the listings of my prices, I can have my show show reel in the very start. I can, it's just that you can also get downloads off my website, you can download some free stuff I got there. Just, it just gives me more promotion, it gives me more, uh, gives me more uh, so, sort of advertising for my work. My website is just about me and how much about how uh, me making films. I can also there's also a service uh, button on my there's also a services page on my website. You can click and see how much I'll cost for like a half day, whole day. You can get packages. There's like a package deal. You can, how much I'll cost for uh, for an entire edit that includes like visuals and CGI and all that good stuff. And discounts as well will be applied there as well. Of course, of course I do. I would love to be the next Spielberg, as you say. <laughs>